Hello and welcome to another episode of Shooting Star TV. Today we are talking about wingsuit specific canopies. Uh, since wingsuit was introduced or created in 1999 with the Birdman suit created by uh, Jerry Koshna and Robert Pechnik, uh, which were the creators of the Birdman suit. You didn't know that? Now you know. Um, it, the sport has evolved and has boomed since then. Nowadays, you have s s incredible suits with great materials, uh, top-end technology that will make your fly farther, faster, uh, and have, uh, um, let's say, less, uh, less of a struggle to fly with the suit. Um, and also stabler. But with that came the necessity of creating specific canopies for this discipline. Uh, many manufacturers have specific ones that are made just for wingsuiting or that you can order for wingsuiting that can work for regular skydiving and wingsuiting. Uh, but if you're using those for just specifically for wingsuiting, you would have great openings, uh, easier pack, hybrid construction fabric, uh, which you know will help you a lot if you're just doing wingsuit with that canopy. Um, an exa great example when the oldest started, they were, you, you want, that's definitely want a canopy that is square. So uh, Spectra from Performance Designs, it's a perfect seven cell uh, example for that. Uh, I personally used that for many years just for wingsuiting and I've never had a problem with it. I loved it. And uh, Spectra 150 was my canopy to go with for wingsuiting. After that one, you, you can see they, they came up with the Storm. The Storm is also a uh, popular canopy for that, not my personal favorite, but there's also the uh, Storm. Uh, other canopies that are square and are really good for that, uh, the Pilot from Airdyne, nine cell Pilot, really good canopy. Seven cell, the Pilot 7, Awesome, really popular, nice, uh, powerful flare, great openings, and it packs really nice. Uh, especially, specifically, if you uh, select that um, fabric combination with the low pack volume fabric, you have an easy to pack canopy. Um, and then you have all these manufacturers that came up with uh, specifically intended canopies for wingsuiting, like the Kraken from Gyro. Uh, and then you have the Epicene. Uh, Pro and the Omicron from Squirrel, which are great canopies. Uh, we You can order those through Shooting Star as well. Keep in mind, we don't keep these in stock, but we can pull whatever the manufacturer has in stock on their corresponding website, so you can check them on each, each of them, every one of them. If they have it in stock, we can have it in a short period of time. If not, then it will fall into a custom order and then the wait time based on different manufacturers' wait times, then that will, uh, uh, you have to go through that. But yeah, there's, uh, since this was created, it took off and I mean, it keeps going. There's, uh, again, there's specific canopies for this, but any canopy that has a square platform and a flat glide, would be recommended for this. Obviously not a canopy below 150, uh, it is recommended because you actually wanna make your life easier and not complicate things because you're fl already flying a wingsuit. Uh, if you have a line twist or any malfunction, it's gonna be a hassle and it's gonna be, it's just gonna be a pain to get out of that. So anything below 150, no, no. You want something that is 150 and up for wingsuiting, and that's at least that's what I recommend. And uh, I'm sure any of the wingsuit instructors that you might want to go with you know, when you're taking your courses, or that will recommend based off of whatever uh, how your canopy skills are at the time that you are taking the course for wingsuiting. Um, I recommend going with that and asking your instructor based on your skills what type what type of canopy and what size would he recommend for you. So if you're interested in checking these out, I'll leave links down in the description where you can find all of these canopies that are intended for wingsuiting or recommended for wingsuiting. So if you wish to order one of those, you can definitely do so in the links below. If you have any questions, shoot us an email, or give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you walk or walk you through how to order them, what uh, you know, what delete times might be, and all that. So you have canopies like the Spectra from Performance Designs, the Storm from Performance Designs. You have the Kraken from Gyro. Used to be NZR Sports, now it's Gyro. Uh, Sapphire Two or Sapphire Three from Icarus World. Uh, then you have the Epicene Pro and Omicron from Squirrel. Uh, Airdyne Pilot. 
or the Pilot 7. Recommend that eyes closed. Uh, so any of these canopies will be good for windsurf. Hey, do me a favor, like button, hit it, subscribe, hit the bell, get notifications, and help our channel grow. Thank you. But wait, there's more. And with all this, there's the need for accessories or parts that you uh, might want to change on your container system when you are doing uh, wingsuit jumps. Uh, one of the most popular that you see is the, the need for a semi stoless or stoless main deployment bag combined with a longer uh, bridle on your main pilot chute and a specific type of pilot chute like the uh, Sky Snatch from Squirrel, which is intended for wingsuiting. Um, so those things are also accessories that you might want to look into. Um, there's, it's not um, mandatory that you go with that, but it's it helps uh, in getting better, cleaner deployments out of your container. There are also some manufacturers that offer wingsuit specific options on their container systems, mainly on the main tray. Uh, I believe they call it dynamic corners or wingsuit corks. That's what they call it. Uh, and uh, you can order these for you. If you're looking to get, I recommend it if you're using that container system or m creating a rig just for wingsuiting. If you're looking to get uh, something that you can free fly or belly fly and then wingsuit, get a regular container system with none of these options because you're gonna regret it if you're mostly doing other jumps and occasionally wingsuiting. I wouldn't recommend getting dynamic corners and all that uh, because um, your openings are gonna be totally different. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'm not gonna go over each canopy uh, because we have details uh, in each description. When you go into each category on our website, you scroll down to the description, you can see uh, most of all of the more, most important characteristics of each canopy and um, for, uh, for, for, for each manufacturer. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to call us or give us, uh, shoot us an email to gear at shootingstar.com and we more be more than happy to help you out in picking the correct canopy for you. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.